We ready. See, I started shaking dreads when I hear competition oh, songs. Mm. Mm. We ready. Okay, okay. We ready. Okay, okay. We ready. Right, that's not wrong. Come on, come on. Uh, right. Pat Beth Pod with Roan. Let's, before we do anything. I put my motherfucking hair down after the night, Roan. Yeah, let it down. I gotta let my shit down tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, Shake that man. shit out, nah, bro. I ain't, gonna shake. I, don't, I ain't really the shake and dread type, you feel me? Because you feel me, mine more is a, a, of a model look. You feel me? But belt to ass. No, no, no. Belt to ass. Ass, belt, in my hand tonight. They were fused together. Belt never left ass. Yeah, I don't. I love. I love playing Boston. Uh, I love playing in Boston. I love Boston. Dave's in a Texas back. I did. I texted Dave. I didn't hear. Yeah, I didn't man. Hear anything I, from I, the- I, I like. It's something about the history of it. Like, Wait, but but before we even go any oh, further, bad. can you guys make sure that you are going on to Apple? Okay. Subscribe on Apple. Yeah, because what 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 they did to Spotify? That oh, they shit blew it was up crazy. They, they blew, blew it up. up. They gave us me four point nine with the stars. The reviews was crazy. We got a new thing. You, you go to Apple. It's a you leave ag, a comment. Ask Pat and Ron question. Right, and we're reading the best we're ones. Do a segment. On we're reading the next pod. best ones next week. Five star rating. The only ones we'll be reading, obviously. <laughs> right, but uh, you know what time it is. Yeah, Boost. belt to ass. Belt to ass. What the fuck is you talking about, bro? Pat Bev. Starter on the Milwaukee Buck. No. Can I hit you with a stat? Four and one as a starter. That's at 800.800 winning percentage. Shit, we got a game tomorrow. Well, well let's today. keep it up. Well, no. let's keep it up then. <laughs> right. Let's keep it up yeah. because now people have an expectation. 20 points, 10 rebounds, season high in rebounds, mm. 20 points. You had 26 against the Celtics. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> something about playing against the Celtics. It must have felt good to get that win tonight. Yeah, it felt great to get the win, right? You know, right? To see. Like to be out, hurt, ankle. At the same time, I'm still rehabbing wrists, right? Shout out to the Bucks. Oh my God, the staff has been great. They've been on point with my shit. Like, shout out to Ryan. Shout out to CC in the weight room. Like, I don't know if you guys listen to the pod, but, you know, without those guys, man, there's no way I come back this fast, obviously, you know. So I'm talking about, I'm damn near can't, like, my shit tender as fuck. Wrist? Still. No, my ankle. Ankle. I mean, because in the Washington game, rolled ankle. A I almost bit. broke my shit. It was that bad? It was bad. I'm going to send y'all the clip for it, too. I got two clips. I rolled it the first quarter. Then I rolled it in the third quarter, even worse. So, like, being out, you know, like, not being able to compete, one, not being able to go hoop, two, not be able to be there for your teammates. Watching three. the team lose. You know, and not only lose, but, like, the morale of the team is, you feel me? You know, we're losing this, you know, it's... it's it shouldn't be like this, but if it's if it's a sunny day, it's not you know, sunny, but not that sunny, you know. Um, so people care. Yeah, yeah. Especially from this organization, you talk about a top notch. These motherfuckers last five, six years probably don't run the most games. And there's an expectation uh, of winning, you right. know. So like, and I mean, these losses. Let's be honest, they were bad losses. Yeah. Lost to a 12, 13, and fourteen yeah. seed. Like yeah. these are not. And I was gonna try to come back from New York. Right. Right. I was gonna try to come back from New York, but I. I needed two days of condition. I didn't want to force it. Um, so all the guys with the training staff, all the motherfucking uh, the fucking interns, bro. I'm talking about I'm playing one-on-one every single day. One-on-one, three-on-three. All the young guys. Young guys, they beat my ass this time. I'm giving their credit. They you have to. We can't yeah, just yeah, yeah, can't read get, our good press. Can't get, yeah. I have to read the bad press. They was on my ass. You they know? probably listened to pop. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, and then we meet and then, you know, on the day off, uh, T.A., Yana's brother, he coming in. We do two-on-two. You know, so like, I'm I'm hooping. Like, I'm not playing, but I'm like, to be a basketball player, you have to play basketball, not just drill. So like, I'm hooping. So, I mean, you know, it was just preparation, meet, meet, opportunity. That's exactly what that was today. You hear that you're the starter. How does that conversation go? You got to think like, <laughs> and I want y'all to hear this, like, like real talk, like, it's the first year I ever came off the bench, bro. Flat out. Even a, last year after trade, you're starting for Bulls. I've been a starter for a fucking decade. Right? So, I get to me, I felt like I've been demoted. 
You feel me? But I'm gonna play the. You feel me? I ain't. I'm gonna play my role to the fullest. I'm here for the fucking team. Let's fucking win. You feel me? But like this year's with Philly, you know, I I started off on bench. Some games, I mean, first two Celtics games this season, you played ten and fifteen minutes. Yeah, you know Not what I'm enough. saying? Like so, know. like I I felt like okay, Pat, you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta go. What's your goal? Rome, before we, when they saying the Pledge of Allegiance and the people back there going crazy, I'm in my mind, I'm praying to God, Lord, because you helped me, guide me to be a starter again. Every fucking game, Rome. Every fucking game, bro. Every game. From the beginning of the season, the preseason, until now I'm going to start a game four. Four games left into the season, going to the playoffs. Just beat the number one seed, bro. God is real. Straight up. True story. Every day. Every day. Lord, please. I'm a starting point guard. Help me get there. Please. 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 And Every, you got there. It happened. Out there. Happened. Preparation, opportunity. Manifestation. Uh, man above. Yeah. Straight up. It, it really is a, a testament to what you bring to the team as far as your energy. We look like a different team today. Well, the team needed a shot in the arm. I mean, it was like, how is that energy going to change out here with how things have been going and how, what can we do to change? Um, and the, the shot in the arm was a, it was Pat Bev. Mm -hmm. Like that was literally the one ingredient that changed in the dish. And suddenly bon appetit. Yeah. So I go with my guy, Pete, shout out Pete. He go. Who's Pete? Um, so Pete used to do the film with the LA Clippers. Part of Doc Stab. Now Peter's, you know, behind Copy. the bench. Copy. You know, up and coming coach. You know, so, you know, that's who I work out pregame. He pat. I can't practice. I can't I can't work you out today. I, what the fuck you mean, Pete? Man, get your lock the fuck in, man. Let's go to work. You know, I gotta go to this meeting, man. I gotta go to this meeting, man. I gotta go to this meeting, man. About you star. Ah, you know what, Pete? Get your ass right, hurry. Yeah, that makes get sense. Go ahead and enjoy hurry. the meeting. You need Have anything, fun. Need you want to get there early? Right. So shout out to you? Pete. <laughs> so um <clears throat> I get texts from Rex. Sexy Rexy. Um, who do you want to guard? Ah, uh, literally. Drop knee. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Right? You got to think, wrong. Pause that. I'm in a whole nother vibe. I got these on. You got to think. Motherfuckers is telling me, giving me tech, text messages like, yeah, whatever you want to release, release it. This is just a new start. You dis, you know, you the 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 solar eclipse. It has to do with energy. How do you think waves happen in the water because of energy and currents and stuff like that? So you, this won't happen to another forty years. I'm already thirty five, and that's seventy five. I hope I make it that long. But if I don't, I got to take advantage of the solar eclipse, right? Right. So you got to think. All this is happening. I got sage <laughs> burning. I got incense burning. I'm talking. About, I'm in a whole balcony and feel me I put shades on take them out burn my motherfucking ass put them back on you know what I'm saying like so like I'm in a whole flow whole flow it's not it's it's no surprise why today was today or the Boston Celtic game was today or the Orlando game was today you know what I'm saying it's just preparation meets opportunity I'm ready I've been ready I've been ready all year the gravitational pull of the moon is giving an extra softness to that hook shot you, through hook, but that ain't the first hook I done threw. You've been throwing hooks all year. All year. Low key. No, like fucking Deontay Wilder. <laughs> no, hooks, no, no, bro. no, no, no. Hakeem. Like, like Trey Songs, no, bro. No, hooks. No, no. <laughs> Bro's got hooks, dude. No, I, hook. I, fly I, hook. Not yeah. just bump, bump, hook, float. I'm talking about full, extended <sighs> magic. You gotta think I'm yelling, man. I'm 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 doing it in practice, though. That's why everybody got up on the bench. Like, yo, y'all tripping. He really work on that. Yeah. Hook. Hook. Finishing at the rim. Multiple times. Well, not trying to do too much. Not trying to aggressively. Every, every time I'm open, and, and Hoopers, I want y'all to understand this. Like, every time you open don't mean you got to squeeze, right? What does that mean? Like, okay, every time you open, they, they put the center on me. The ultimate disrespect. Put the center on you. But you know, I've been there before. I done played. Okay. I have to be a center now. Now I'm a string. Now I'm a roll. I got that game, too. You know, I just ain't going to limit myself because I'm a guard. Right? Okay, well, if I have a bad shooting night, they put the, the center on me. I got to be able to play the center position. So... Hoopers, I want to let y'all know, like, it's because, you feel me, if you don't feel a shot, you don't feel a shot, don't shoot that shit. You feel me? You know when you work out, hold on, it's probably somebody calling and showing love. Let me, I'm answering all Coach Rex. Shout out to Doc. And shout out to Bees. I saw him in the, uh, uh, like, as I was walking in, it seems like he really took the, his role with grace. He's yeah. playing in the fourth quarter. Yeah. You're, you're with him on the bench, he arm go, around him. But you don't understand, shit like that. He going to be the hero. He go win some games in the playoffs for us. Like, I mean, watch. 
He's ninth in the NBA in three pointers. Like, watch. You feel me? That gives you motivation, right? That gives you motivation to go out there. You know what? Okay, cool. All right, I'm in a different role. Let me turn the fuck up. And I ain't gonna let bees fail. What you mean? I had bees in Minnesota. I ain't gonna let bees fail. Nah, come on. That's work. Only way to get out of slump is one thing, homies. Work. You in a bad relationship, you and your girl, y'all arguing, fuck it, it's time to work. Go take her out, go for a walk. You and your friend beefing, don't go ignore it. No, fuck it, work on that shit. Come on, homie, let's go get a drink. Let's go to the movies. Let's, let's, let's catch a vibe. Work. If you're going through any type of struggle, fuck pouting, go to work. That's the hook right there. Straight up. Um, I also saw that you had a renewed energy on the bench. Mm. You're walking up and down, pacing the entire time. No. Even your mom at one point was like, sit down, Nathaniel. <laughs> I she, why she call me that? <laughs> Literally, that's not even my name. Like, I, I don't even know anyone named Nathaniel. You know, it's weird. Spider calls people Nathaniel randomly. Oh. I don't understand it. But uh, Nathaniel was wild. It was wild. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. But She's she was. <laughs> but you're you had a palpable energy elevation, no. and I don't know if it's because you're starting or it's because what the team needed. But did you feel that while you were on the bench? I just felt like I was lost in the game. Right. I I came in the game with like. Be aggressive. You open, shoot. You don't feel it. Don't shoot it. Right? So I came in the game with a pure fucking spirit like I do. I'm fucking I'm out there with Giannis. He getting the ball. Dame getting the ball. Chris getting the ball. Brooke Lopez getting the ball. You know what that means? If you're a hooper and you understand basketball, oh my God, I'm about to get a ton of shots. Because there's a gravity. Why wouldn't you want to help from Patrick Beverly? And you led the team in scoring tonight. Cool. I'm gonna make your ass pay. Got to. I mean, leading a team in scoring with all of those players on the team is fucking that, wild. But those guys just making the right play. Yeah. And, and we was fucking clamping up. Our defense was on point today. Like we look like a different team. So, yeah, fortune, bro. Fortunate to be starting. Fortunate as fuck. And won't take it for granted. Fortune like, favors that. the brave. Fuck that. Game yeah. over. We got another one tomorrow. But today. Yeah. yeah. On to the next. I mean, there's three games left in the season after this one. Uh, that we we just completed, and even though the Bucks have clinched the playoff spot, these are crucial games. Yeah, it's it, you know, and uh, unfortunately, we saw a Giannis injury. Any updates on any of that? Or he cool? Yeah, he cool. Yeah, everything good there. Everything good there. Nothing Fantastic. Uh, and great. He Giannis too. So yeah, he's Giannis, right. and uh, you know, if it seems like the whole city of Milwaukee is willing to give up the, any body part for Giannis. You know, they, they love that guy yeah. and uh, they, they're they really locked in. What was your discourse like with Dame as you guys are two ball handlers, but you're both sharing the backcourt? Yeah. Who who determines? I, I listened to, I think it was the Knicks broadcast. They said that after a make... Dane brings the ball up after a miss. Giannis traditionally brought the ball up, yeah. but now you're bringing the ball up sometimes. We How just, does that all work? No, we, it ain't even that. Whoever's close to the ball, okay. bring that bitch up. We got plenty. And I saw Middleton even bringing it up. So no, we got plenty of playmakers. But the thing is, I'm I'm also used to bringing it up, and I'm also used to sitting my ass in the corner shooting corner threes. Like I played with James Harden. That's a like, ball dominant usage. Ain't motherfucker had the ball all motherfucking game. Right. Feel me? Like. I went from James Harden, the point guard, to James Harden later on in career. He the point guard. You know what I'm saying? So, like, man, I know how to play that position, too. And I know how to play guard to guard. Okay, cool. And, okay, this season I missed a couple shots. Okay, they're putting the center on me. Okay, trainer. Let's work the center game, too. Let's pick and roll, get in the pocket. Like, come on. Like, you feel me? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a full-blooded hooper. So, like, yeah, like, we, whoever get the ball first, you push it. Make we, We'll play fast, right? If we... We were rewarding ourselves. Only way we get in the ball is because we're getting stops. Did you guys play fast because of that text message I sent you today? Um, No. <laughs> what text message did you send me? Al Horford in the elevator being like... He was uh, I, no, no, I didn't even use it today, bro. No? No, no, tell him what you told me, though. No, 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 let me read it. Let me read it on my phone. Let me follow my phone. Oh, my phone. I got to read it. All right. Ah, I forgot it. I forgot <laughs> I forgot to tell you, you text me that you are fucking a great friend. Sleeper cell. I'm talking about you are a great friend. Let me go, my man. Here we go. So Ron hit me with this today, y'all. <clears throat> no, this is on the group chat. Ron, Ron hit me with this. Ron. Chill. <laughs> Chill. He goes, today, but the, when we, the day we play Boston at uh, 1043 a.m. was just in the elevator with Al Horford. Uh, he was getting on, talking to an assistant coach, and they said, they're not used to playing fast. This is inside intel, Pat Bell. 
They're going to try to push the pace tonight. Lace up those track shoes. I got the ears to the... And they're lucky I didn't pull the fire alarm, bro. They ain't going to stop letting you in games. Speaking of letting you in games, Simon Says got you, huh? (laughs) I got textured Simon Says today. Yeah, belt to ass. No, I mean... And you walked off gracefully like, fuck, I lost. Yeah, well, let me... I'll put the clip up. Simon Says run. Simon Says stop. Hands up. Hands up. You're out. You're out. Simon Says hands up. Hands down. You're out. You're out. You're out. You're out, Mr. Herbert. Simon Says hands down. Simon Says move down. Simon Says move down. Simon Says stop. Hands up. Hands up. You're out. Am I that good or are they that awful? Here we go. Simon says, put up your right hand. Wave it around. Simon says, wave it. Simon says, wave it. Simon says, stop. Both hands up. Both hands up. You're out. (laughs) Simon says, hands down. Nice. Move down, please. Move down. Simon says, move down. Stop. You're out. All right, here we go. Here we go. Simon is up, Simon is down, Simon is up, Simon is down, Simon is run. Simon is stop. Hands up, hands up. All right. All right no, 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 no. You all, you all did it. Technically, you're all losers, but we need a winner. Here we go. Simon is hands on head, Simon is tap the head. Simon says stop. Hands up, hands up, you're out. Simon is hands up, hands down, hands up, you're out. Oh, well. Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Ferrone. Hands down. Let me read the other clip I got from Simon Says, or I'll let you read this one. Talk to me. You go ahead, read that one from Steve Max, the best Simon Says guy. I've been told that because you're my friend, you can't win. <laughs> Who is it? The game is that's the Simon Says guy. That's Steve Max, the guy that runs Simon Says. That's why I was in it. He's my boy. I did a video on him before, like five years ago. He texted me today. He's like, You you in town? We got on the phone. He was blah blah blah. So they cheated. No, but also in the in the footage, I was lucky to stay in as long as I did. Oh, I had God. a little flinch, bro. He could have got my he ass. Got out. You to, I seen it. He was supposed to get you the one before that, the uh, hands on shoulder. You kind of hesitate with that. I damn wrong, my because be. I was trying to hesitate. I was trying to slow play it. You go, you try to play Simon Says too fast, and you get your ass in the fucking dirt. But I, I mean, I still got smoked. He's the best in the world, though. He he can pick people off like a sniper, bro. I do his ass. <laughs> Yeah, right, bro. No diddy. No, no, no. <laughs> Straight up. No, bro. Belt to ass. All right, well, all right. All Simon right. says hands on head, hands down. Mm-mm, yeah, I'm sure he's going head. that slow, dude. Come on, let's go. Come on. Simon says hands on head. Simon says hands by your side. Simon says hands on head. Hands by your side. Simon says hands by your side. Hands on your knees. Simon says hands on your knees. Simon says hands on your feet. Hands on feet, bro. Uh. <laughs> so I'm saying how many feet? Yeah, but I said hands on feet. Well, I'm not fucking fuck Steve Max, bro. And I'm not the one. Bro. Bring his ass in here. Yeah, bring, I'll bring his ass yeah, in bring here, bro. Bring his ass in here, bro. He'll smoke your whole team, dude. He'll mow you guys down. I do his ass. Then I turn around. You see, I do a blind too. No, no, no. You think so, bro? He gets anybody. Yeah, he's like that. Simon says, "People, they, the, it's a look." It's the look. It's you looking at them because they move it. If you close your eyes and do it, you cool. Dude, you say all that and that shit sounds cool. Man, I'm waxing his ass. You're not. Yeah, how, I mean, how long? I'm go forever? I'm um, yeah, uh huh, on your ass. 10 minutes straight. No. He'll uh, have you out. He'll have you out whenever he wants. Man, I was always the kid who won all the games. Man, he'll have you yeah. out whenever red he light, wants. Green light, green light. <laughs> red green Rover, light, Red gr- Rover. <laughs> yeah, boy, I didn't play. I did not play. Look forward to those games, too. Uh, well, yeah. Oh. Yeah, give his ass a call. But we'll, 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 yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no. A little later, we'll play. Well, come on, let's finish pot. I gotta get some rest. I got a game tomorrow. Facts, you have a game yeah. tomorrow. Going into the fourth quarter, fifteen points. <laughs> First bucket that you make in the third in the fourth quarter, a little very soft, beautiful jump shot, and then afterwards, yeah. But the last game against the Celtics, it seemed like there was a little bit of. Uh, Fire lit under uh, uh, maybe some of the Celtics from the, those exact moves. Was that a response to what was happening last game with the Celtics? Um, no, I was just, you know, getting lost in basketball. I wasn't nothing like that. You know, you got to think. I don't give a fuck. 
obviously they have Porzingis out and they have R. Horford out also. So like, but their guards are all there. I mean, but still, you know, they, you know, in their defense, they weren't healthy. You know what I'm saying? So like, or sitting out of rest or whatever the case may be. So, so like, no, I ain't gonna give them no bullets and press. I'm definitely not gonna sit on this pod and do that. I just love playing Boston Celtics. It's a vibe. Bro. It's always Larry, a great game. Larry fucking Bird played there. Like, if you're a hooper, I don't know for what hoop you is. Larry Bird was the the stud, the man. What you talking about? I was more of a John Havlicek guy. Okay, cool. And my first coach was who, who started me, Kevin McHale. Koozie as well. You know I always enjoyed Koozie. Yeah, I love fucking man. <laughs> That's a lot of great history there. There's they a lot of great basketball history. basketball the right way. Yeah. Ooh. You were playing a really good defense in the first quarter against uh, Jalen Brown. Yeah. We got fortunate. He missed some shots. He, yeah. That's mm-hmm. always lucky. Yeah. Going into the playoffs, I mean, this is going to be the last episode that we have before the playoffs. Yeah. Um, we recording out there every two playoff games. I playoffs. love it. Oh, playoffs going to be fire. Can't I can't wait. wait. Y'all got to subscribe as the real ones. You know, <laughs> y'all got to tune in playoffs, man. Shout out to Draymond Green for giving me that too. I learned right. a lot when he did that. And playoffs. people got cheated last year without there being any playoff, yeah. playoff ball yeah. for you. So yeah. now, I mean, they're about to get a whole new fucking dose of yeah, inside information, so inside intel, LJ's and you're starting. way better than mine. No, bro, don't say that. That bitch is cold. Bro, I walked 10 miles in these today. You know, my mom, everyone keeps telling me they walk. My mom told me, oh, man, I, I walked today. I, where did you walk? To the game? Mind your games across the street from hotel. I walked. She know I walked from from hotel to pod. I, what? I, what's that, 26 minutes? She 37. Uh, say she walked. Now, you got to come on this bitch. You tell me about you down. You, you. You walk. No, I walked to every the part of Milwaukee. I, made I put the walking. the walk in Milwaukee, bro. I fucking went. Relax, relax, man. You took one motherfucking walk in Milwaukee. Now you didn't took the walk out of Milwaukee. Relax, man. Eleven miles. Why does it say eleven miles? Damn. Eleven miles. I went to every hood, bro. No, I we, relax. There you go. Relax, man. You went down the street. No, I back went to, the Mexican hoods, the black hoods, bro. Everything. Okay. And how right. do I know there was a Mexican flag flying? I'm not okay. stereotyping. Okay, so. You have fun? I had a blast. Okay. I saw where Jeffrey Dahmer uh, used to live. Chill, bro. What you on today? I saw it all. <laughs> all right. We come on. Next question. Come on. Let's keep moving, man. Uh, How Shams beat us to the thing today? What did he beat us to? Pat Bev is star. But it, it, it's better coming from him like that, though. Yeah, it's nice. Shout out to Shams. Shut on. Nah, 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 nah. I better not. Yeah. I better not. Um, so going into the playoffs... Um, is there any teams that you want to see? Any matchups that you're looking forward to throughout got, the NBA? Man, you got to run into somebody. You got to run into Heat. You got to run into Philly. You got to run into Indiana. You got to run into somebody so you can't. That's how it is, first round. Yeah. Heat are playing well. Yeah. Philly's playing well. Yeah. I mean, everybody's kind of playing close to some of their best pr- brands of basketball. It seems like the Celtics are kind of resting guys in anticipation of the playoffs. So the East is going to be very interesting. Oh. And then uh, Orlando, the Knicks, they're all right there. Mm. Cavs. I mean, it's uh, a lot of scary teams. Yeah, a lot of scary teams, but we ready. We, we be ready. ready. We ready. See, I started second dress when I hear competition oh, songs. Mm. Mm. We ready. Okay, okay. We ready. Okay, okay. We ready. That's not wrong. Come on, come on. Uh, I'm trying to. Bronny James yeah. declares for the NBA draft. He ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. My son, I'm in the NBA, and my son is in college, and I got a little power. Come on, boy. Get on this motherfucker NBA draft. You motherfucker, somebody go draft you. Your last name is motherfucker James. Yeah, who would you draft first though, Caitlin Clark or Bronny James? Chill, chill. <laughs> I ain't seen enough of Bronny. Well, you seen enough of Caitlin Clark? She's a she. she a, ooh. And people ask me like, Pat Bear, if you think you think her game is going to translate to WNBA, I say hell yes. Have you noticed the trend of a lot of WNBA veterans and hell yes hating on her? I, I mean. They're yeah. hating on her. They're like, well, once you get to the league, Diane Taurasi, once you get to the league, like you're not playing against little girls anymore. Like, no shit. Man, she knows that. I, I uh, promise you. I uh, promise you she know that. Right. And and other UConn, other former UConn players being like, 
oh, well, uh, unless she wins a championship, she's not stamped. She did this at Iowa. She didn't do this at UConn where hey, hey, everybody's a McDonald's All-American. Hey, she should, transformed it, that program. It be, listen, it shouldn't even be you explaining yourself about this one. But it's, I mean, it's corny that people are doing this. You shouldn't even have to explain. She has the most points. Right. Period. Boys anger. But the woman who had the most points said, I don't really believe she has the record. It's like this, uh, this... Women should be uplifting women. Yeah, yeah, but that comes with greatness too. I promise you, motherfucker. When they drafted Steph Curry, they said Steph Curry, man, that shit ain't gonna work. Motherfucker, I said that shit wasn't gonna work. Steph, man, stop shooting that shit, bro. That shit missing, bro. You shooting from half court, bro. Who the fuck? Ain't, you you know need to play like Johnny that? Flynn. That motherfucker looked at me, say, Pat, that's my shot. <laughs> ah, man, Steph, that shit ain't going in though, bro. Come a little closer. It's my shot, right? Fifteen years later. NBA history, three-point shooter. Like, feel me? It's just some shit you can't teach. Touch and shot, you can't teach that. She got that shit. Yeah. She and got that shit. The like, proof is in the pudding because the women's championship had more viewers than the men's championship. She got that shit. She got that shit. She cold. And she got, the crazy thing is, this is like, if you're a hooper, bro, like. Of course. The way she get her shit off, like, she get her shit off all going left. Right? So like she did one move, bro, like a a tween cross side step, side step, side step. Like it's NBA. She's doing that James Harden shit. It's it's NBA guy. With a target on her back. I'm talking about with the best defender, with traps, with all that, man. And it's it's to a point, if she get open three, it's cash. Yeah. Like she has the demeanor of a superstar man. too. The way she wants calls, the way that she's not yeah, like fucking. She she's like, pissed. She's like fucking sorry. You know, I like the re lips and everything. Oh yeah, talk that shit, can yeah. <laughs> Talk that shit, CC. I'm calling the CC like I CC. know. Yeah, CC. Yeah, yeah. The cheap pizza. Just, damn, uh, bro. Straight up, man. That's uh, she, yeah. She yeah, she go crazy. So they a huge fan. I'm a huge fan. Yes, huge fan. Exactly, men uplifting women. Mm. The men's championship though was a doozy. A doozy. Shout out Doc. Shout out to Doc Rivers. Too. Why Doc? What does Doc have to do with the men's college basketball championship? All right. New coach. Right. New coach, bro. Coming to opportunity. All right. Trade for his guy. All right. Trade for his other, try to get his other guy, gal. All right. Team struggling. Start, you know, start me. A lot of coaches, I don't think they had the balls to make that decision. Especially on a team that you trying to win a championship with. I mean, I ain't what I start nine games this ten games this season. You know what I'm saying? So to have that trust, make that decision. Like, I mean, obviously it's been one game, so it's a uh it's a it's a marathon with this shit, but like it's a hell of a start. Oh, so this has nothing to do with NBA. Uh College basketball championship. Nothing. Okay, cool. I'm just I just like non sequitur. Uh, I I like non sequiturs. Yeah, yeah. It keeps people on their toes, keeps yeah. the listener, the viewer engaged. Yeah, I like that. Shout out to fucking Doc, bro. That's what I'm talking about. With criticism, with all that shit. Shout out Doc. Yeah. Um he, he made the right call. He got his guy in the starting lineup and you know, let's keep on let's yeah, continue gotta, all this. Yeah, gotta keep going. Let's keep keep this going in the right yeah. direction. All right, gang, let's take a second and talk about game time. Game time. Game time. Got it right here on my phone. It's too insane how easy it is to interface. Bam, New York's up on here. Yankees games. Brooklyn Cyclone. They have freaking minor league baseball games on here. MSG boxing, New York Rangers, Islanders. Go tab over to music. What music do they have? Bad Bonnie? Jay and Silent Bob, <laughs> bro, they got it all over here. And then I can go over to shows. Andrew Schultz, bro, Sweeney Todd, you can go see Sweeney Todd. Bro, Game Time, the Game best time. app. The best app if you want to get tickets. The official ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. The official ticketing partner of the Pat Bev Pod. You know that we're locked in with Game Time. Those are our brothers over there. You can pick your seats. You can sit where you want to sit. You're flying through. You can get your tickets on the way to the game. It is the only way that I buy tickets. The best prices. They're not going to bang you over the head with all these crazy fees. What you see is what you get. Game time. Certified threat. 
That there is your safest bet. Make sure that you're rocking with our good friends over at Game Time. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app. Create an account and use code PATBEV for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. All right, guys, let's talk about DraftKings. And specifically, I'm talking to my NBA fans over there. We have something new, something fun, something cool for you. It's called Pick 6, the newest fantasy app from DraftKings, an official partner of the NBA. I mean, you drive into Milwaukee, there's DraftKings billboards in the town. It's almost like it's serendipity, like it was written, like it was foretold, but that's why you need to get this pick six. Getting started is simple. See if a player will have more or less than a stat. For example, will a player have more than one rebound or will a player have less than three and a half assists? DraftKings pick six. Pretty fun game. If you had said that Pat Bev were going to score 20 and 10 tonight, you would have done exceedingly well. It's very fun. That's why I love it. Pick your favorite players and compete for huge cash prizes. Download the new DraftKings Pick 6 app now and use code Roan. <laughs> I like that. Take on the competition with your best NBA player picks only on DraftKings. Pick 6 with code Roan. Use that code. DraftKings, those are our bros. UConn plays incredibly. Any, did you notice anything about the way that they play basketball? They're coaching. So our young guy, AJ Jackson, he uh, he went to UConn. He won a championship with them last year. Right. So we we doing a shooting contest before practice. He's shooting. He missing and shit. Man, that broke ass shit, man. He you better check my resume. Mind you, I don't know who fuck he is. I just know this motherfucker good jump. But he's got the beautiful hairline. That shit man. is fucking one inch above his eyebrow man, you know like me. a fucking... Edge of a paper. I go right home. AJ Jackson. <laughs> NCAA champion. Ah, okay. Cool. Come back next shooting game. You think because you want a championship, your resume solid? You ain't did shit in the NBA. <laughs> it's my dog. Shout I mean, he's getting AJ. some burn. I mean, he got him. Shout out to AJ. C- got him cuffed. Young pit bull. He gonna be ready when I'm done with him. Watch out. Mind you, listen to me. You got AJ and AJ. Yeah, yeah two AJs. <laughs> two AJs. Yeah, so I got two AJs. So yeah, shout out to AJ Jackson too, man. It's my dog. Shout out to AJ Jackson. Yeah, he's getting, I mean, he was getting what, first quarter minutes today? Great. Yeah. Love it. And he's been bringing energy. good energy. Love it. Energy. Love it. Whatever it takes. Yeah. But, Against Boston. Um, do you think that the guy on Purdue was going to get drafted, Zach Eady? I like his game. Really? People, people don't think it's going to translate. I do. Right? He gives me Zubac games. Right. But it took a while to zoom out to kind of like, you know, it took coaches a while before they allowed Zubak to get his hook shot and all. Cause you don't know, like Zoo got real game, but he limited to a role. Like Zoo got off the glass mid range. He could shoot threes. Like when we play pickup, Zoo shooting threes and everything. So like, but Eden, he's going to be able to show his, his, his display, his skill set a lot earlier and it's going to work. And he's big as hell. Obviously, he might get pushed around, but I'm talking about longevity of his his career. Like, you feel me? Fifth, sixth year. You're talking about the Steven Adams type of body with a skill set, bro. Steven Adams lasted. Why wouldn't Eden last? So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see him. I like him. Yeah, he put up incredible numbers for the entire tournament. And even though they lost in the championship, you're going against the buzzsaw in UConn. And he basically carried his team through that entire tournament. So yeah. Zach E.D., uh, stamp of approval from Pat Beth. And yeah, hell yeah. And 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 hear this. No N A N I L. Right. Broke ass Zach Eady. Get about, your money up. I'm talking about they doing <laughs> my man crazy. <laughs> He's out there with fucking baked bean dinners. He's out here he with probably the fucking, be asking his teammates, hey bro, split some of that shit, bro. Let me get some fucking, yeah, let me yeah. break me off, bro. AP player of the year twice. And no NIL? I would have got I would have left. <laughs> I'd be in the league, bro. Everybody's getting money. He's the only guy that's not getting wild. money. That's wild. That shout sounds... Shout out to Zach. That's not... I, Canada's fucking up, dude. No, they're not fucking up. Canada's a great place. But why Why are they not letting the kids get money if all these American kids can get I, money? Listen, I, I'm not from... I'm not a Canadian man nor from Canada, so... Well, then let me be the first one to say they're fucking up. No, don't do that because we might have Canadian fans, wrong. They, they like understand that, that they're nice, screwing bro. this kid over. Be nice, I love Canada. Okay. I've been to That's Canada just, dozens of times. Shout out to Drizzy. 
Why? Because he he stayed out of the beef. Is he? You think he's gonna say something to uh to Kendrick? I haven't really been locked in. I don't know what's going on. Kendrick, I, I, I know. Puts I, a verse on Future's album. Has a little bit. I of just heat. don't know. I don't know if people actually talking about each other. You know. Then J Cole responds back. J Cole says, "Your first project was all right. Your second project was overrated. Your third project sucked." Then two days later, J Cole's on a mic. I'm sorry. The real one. I like that. I shouldn't have said it. I respect that. Why? A man that apologized? But it's a, it's just rap, it's rap beef, bro. So I don't give a fuck what it is. Man, I step on your shoe. It's just a shoe. My bad, bro. Yeah, but he said the shit on purpose. He stepped on Which shoe on purpose. Which is even worse. So if I can if I can apologize for me stepping on your shoe, yeah, I suppose to apologize for rap beef. Yeah, but uh, Kendrick stepped on his shoe first. Okay, cool. That don't mean, just what Jesus say, turn the other cheek. I'm not going to call Jesus soft. And I know you're trying to bait me into doing that. I'm not going to do that. I want to say I call Jesus soft. I just I said, don't want to Jesus do that. said someone hit you, turn the other cheek. So do you think that Drake would respond in a situation like that? Do you think he would turn the other cheek? Oh. Still, fam. I ain't going to lie. He one motherfucker. I don't, I don't think people want to go war with. Right. You can say what you want. That's a waste you, fam. Hey, listen, listen. That's a Scarborough thing. Hey, <laughs> hey man. Regardless of how people view Drake, talk about Drake, you know, always got something to say about Drake. That ain't no motherfucker you want to go in the rap battle with. He understands rap battling. Man, that man and people careers. No, no, no. Ends their career. I mean, Meek came back zombie, but Meek was in, in the fucking grave for no, a couple no, no, years. No, no, no. That shit was crazy. And, and Meek, you got to think, I'm listening. When that beef was going on, I'm listening to every word. Every fucking word. And I'm, you know what I'm saying? I know people around the situation, so they give me inside scoop. I, man, this shit crazy. And you know, Meek, he ain't going. Hold on, you got me fucked up, which I respect. You feel me? I respect. But it's hard, boy. Ooh, I'm talking about because Drake, his, his touch to people is so much longer than a lot of rappers. He so, also didn't come with, So like, he'll do a back-to-back -back inside of a football stadium in Philly. Like, Listening to AR app. Like, that is what, what that's why. Like, that's a lot of power. Yeah. yeah. I'm a, you know, uh, Meek, I'm a massive Meek fan. No, no, no. But at the, the same time, yeah, he's, yeah. he's incredible. No, but at the same the time, this wasn't like uh, uh, J. Cole saying Kendrick's like second album was overrated. He said, Is that a world tour or is that your girl's tour? That's personal. That's so personal. That That's a feeling herder. Fuck that. The first disc. Yeah. Man, say so we outside the four seasons looking like a football team. He upstairs. Meek upstairs. Other four seasons. It's crazy. There's 53 people on a football team. It's wild. Yeah, so uh, interesting week right for back. Yeah, I'm top flow in four seasons. Count money. <laughs> like, you feel me? But yeah. Yeah. I don't, that ain't motherfucker. You want to go to war with, man, with Drake. For real. Yeah, but if I was, mean you'll go, but like you one of them. Like, come on, y'all, it's gonna be a lot of innocent but, but, but Kendrick hit, said a, Kendrick said there's no big three, it's just big me. Yeah, it's supposed to feel like that. But I mean that's going yeah, that's basically a warning or you know, that's first shot of war. That's yeah. how you that's how wars get started. Well, that's mean, the Archduke was, Franz Ferdinand getting just, shot in the it head. It starts with a woman. Secondly, it starts with that. Yeah, you're right. Right. Helen of Troy. Mm. Ships get launched. Mm. You know what I call him Troy because he got shot in his uh, Mm. Wow. Chill, bro. Or as we say, the dogs when we want them to chill. Heal. <laughs> Come on, bro. And have fifty-one. And have fifty-one. Malcolm Clive Flynn had fifty. Hold on. And five one. How did he have it? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I would imagine. Great night. Great night for Ant. Proud of him. That's our Ooh, brother. Shit. And Edwards, that's our fucking brother. 17, 29, 6 for 13, 11, 11 free throw line, 51. I remember I told the boys, I mean, I came in that bitch, I man, this motherfucker, next Michael Jordan. People in the film say, why would you, in Minnesota, why would you say that? I, because he needs to know the truth. And y'all, y'all don't watch basketball? Two years later. You have some similarities of Michael Jordan. All these random people just saying that. I mean, like Michael I Jordan dr said drafted in 1984, Man, didn't win a championship until 91. Y'all better stop playing. Yeah. That motherfucker, he cold. He's cold. Ooh, I'm talking about 
I'm talking about, I can't go to school, mommy. I got a cold. He cold. I'm talking about the heaters broke. I'm talking about. No insulation. Siberia. <laughs> Antarctica. Iceland. Um, speaking of. Green Bay, Sheboinkin, <laughs> January 14th. Cold. Tyrese Maxey also had 52. I see some motherfuckers. Yeah, your motherfuckers in their bag. Knee deep. No, no. Sack race. I'm talking about. <laughs> Zoop. Soldier. <laughs> in the trenches. Knee deep. Yes. Knee deep. Knee deep. Um, Sixers. First team to have two players have 50 points three times in a year. Oh, that's, my fun. that's nurse, though. That's nurse. Nurse. Shout out to freaking nurse. Shout out to nurse. Kawhi hit me with the, hey, you like nurse, Pat? Uh, I like him a lot. He, you love his offense, don't you? Ah, uh, hell yeah. He lets you do whatever you want, huh? Ah, uh, hell yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Kawhi, man. Get well soon. <laughs> that Kawhi is incredible. Yeah, that's my dog. I fucking love that, man. That's my he dog. lets you do whatever you, you want. Straight up. I broke my hand. True story, right? True story. I broke my hand. I come in. He, you broke your shit, huh? I, yeah. See, I told you. I right, what you tell me, okay? You got to start doing those fingertip push-ups, strengthening the bones. I started doing fingertip push-ups. <laughs> then I started doing knuckle push-ups. Straight up. Side of the cave, man. He be saying the wildest shit, like, he dude. has, I mean, that dude is, they, he's the claw for a reason. He told a motherfucker one time, I ain't gonna say the person's name. Gee, we, we hooping. A slip screen come. A slip screen is fake screen. I'm gonna slip to the three point line. One of the coaches, Sexy Rexy, I'm gonna say Rex's name because Rex is part of this. Sexy Rexy hit him with the Kawhi, you gotta switch that. Kawhi answers. Why? He because we don't want this person on that person. He goes. So why is he in the game? <laughs> Rex go. You got a point. <laughs> if he can't guard, why is he in the game? <laughs> Straight up. K Cole. Shout out to K. He look at basketball with like the most simple frame a person can look at, bro. Simple as that. His shit's based off defense and working hard. If you ain't got no no straps, Pat, you can't play. You can't play. <laughs> bro, this might be my new favorite impression. I of promise yours. you, dog. He cold. <laughs> he cold. We watching film. I doc, I doc, stop, man, stop this shit. He, I, AK. Bro, where you want the ball at? He play it. He stop it. I cross half court. He, anytime you cross half court and you see me, throw me the ball. Ah, uh, <laughs> all right, cool. What hand? Anywhere. Ah, uh, damn. That's the first superstar I was like, this motherfucker cold. Well, he's doing those fucking knuckle fingertip he's push ups. Cold. He's all hands. healthy. Kawhi is one of the best players to ever play basketball. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, this Clippers team is in a front 50 of win team. Other all star, superstar players. Like, yeah, you see me stop it. Yeah. I cross half court, throw it to either hand every time. <laughs> all right. Straight up. Right, that motherfucker Cole. K. Cole. Yeah, he's incredible. K. Cole. And he loves basketball. I spent some time with him in San Diego, man. We worked out every fucking day. So we going crazy. Ape shit. COVID. I drive, I take, I take Sprinter down there in big ass house in La Jolla. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, four floors, pool. I'm out there for a backstroke and working out with Kawhi Leonard, man. That's fucking beautiful. What? Every day. And you know I'm a freak anyway when it comes to working out. I look, I, you do this shit every day? Every day? <laughs> Shout out to this homie Germ too. Kawhi, he, go, go. Shout out to Germ. Yeah. Paul George game winner. I seen that. Ooh, come through, pound. 
tween, tween, on, got there. He lose dribble on the behind. Tap it inside. Man, y'all don't even know what be going on. He lose, he ta ta ta, bop, snatch, bop, come back, then hit him with the right to left because he, okay, cool. Wrap, left, wrap to right. Wrap didn't go clean because he lose balance a little bit. Tap ball with side of hand. Boom. Grab ball with right hand now. Got control. Boom. Side step. Why are you down there on the ground? But say less. <sighs> And he, his whole fourth quarter was like that. They came back. I, live bet, I live bet him on DraftKings. No freaking big deal. But uh, incredible. Shout out to DraftKings. Shout out to DraftKings yeah. for sure. Shout out to DraftKings. Um, Straight up. No, no. Shout out to fucking DraftKings for yeah. sure, bro. Yeah. Um, did you see this? That this woman named Lindsay Harding is interviewing for the Hornets job. She I was, love that. Man, we just spoke cool about that? we just right. spoke about that. We've spoken into existence. If, if you know ball, you know ball. Right. She has success on a man's level. <laughs> Right, she was the uh, Sacramento. She co- uh, yeah, it's, yeah, at Stockton, she yeah. was the, uh, the G League best best G League G- coach. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're locked in. Yeah. Um, but I just think that that's so cool. Shout out to Lindsey Harding. I mean, even if she shout out, even if she don't get the job, like that's just the envelope. She's in the conversation. She's not, that's just the, the pushing the envelope, right? Right. She if she get it. That'd be it. She don't get it. She go open the door for somebody else. Maybe open the door for herself down the line. Like that's pushing the envelope. We freaking love women on this side. Yeah, straight up. Um, how about freaking Wu Pig? <laughs> Come on. Hey, 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 John. Like, I had some falling out at Arkansas, man. I didn't know if I was able to get back there with the love. Just let me slide through now. I want to come through now. I want to come through now. You feel me? They get people my jersey numbers. Like, my shit is nothing. Like, man, I'm a freshman of the year, newcomer of the year. Like, I got every freshman newcomer stat in NCAA history of Arkansas. I, heard I don't the- know if I can even throw a camp there. Hey, hey, Cal, man, we know some of the same people anyway, man. Come on, man. Come on the pod. We got to get, yeah, get Cal on that the pod. We got to get Cal on We'll go right. down there. Hell yeah, woo pig. Woo fucking pig. And you see me, I never diss Arkansas. No, you it's, always. It's, love. it's always, always woo pig. Love. You, Bobby, always, woo pig. Always love. I don't. I be going down there, man. I, I'm like, can I get a gym or can I get in? Can I lift? I don't kind of, I don't really get response. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, it's time. Yeah, I'm like, damn. Coming did I, home, coming home. Yeah, hey, yeah. I heard How they're paid. giving him five million dollars in nil money to distribute how yeah, he wants. Uh, yeah, who pig? Who no, they're about pig? to get. They don't play catfish hole. Ooh, I'm talking about some of the best catfish and hush puppies. A man I never tasted in my life, wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about like. Man, I met, I was friends with John Tyson's son. Shout out to John Tyson, man. The Tyson chicken guy? Tyson chicken guy. What? John Tyson, the homie. He paid you want to work on my golf? Hell yeah, I work wherever you want to do, Mr. Tyson. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you talking about, I'm so locked in Arkansas, the guy who used to tape my ankles, he taped motherfucking uh, Corliss Williamson ankles. Like, he's been there for eternity. He's not doing well right now. His name is Dave England. Shout out Dave England. They say, Pat, he was the only person that he was, he, only time we've ever seen Dave cry is when you left school. Man, get Pat Bev back in Arkansas. What? I'm, I love Arkansas. Feel me? Like, so like. Coach Cal, let's do some recruiting for him yeah, or, some, or whatever. Shout out to Dave England too, man. I call, and I text him out the blue. I text and they say, man, I, you know, I keep up with everybody. Say, Dave Ingram's not doing so well. I hit him out the blue. He, oh man, that just made my day. Shout out to Dave England, man. Dave England, cold. He cold. He tape cold. game. Tape game. Elite. You hurt. Put ice on it. You not fucking hurt. Stop being a pussy. Oh, yeah, he one of them. <laughs> yeah, tobacco, chewing it. Why he taping you? Yeah, uh-huh. Shout out to Dave England. My dog. Gave me the biggest hug when he found out I was leaving, man. The biggest hug. Yeah. Heartbreaking. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, let's get that. Let's. I mean, what a come up for Arkansas. Please, Kyle. All right. All right. Cal, let's make it happen. I mean, yeah. let's let's quit fucking around. Um, <laughs> Dawn Staley. Well, go. Go. Well, we, I'm so crazy about this. I go, her record last five years, I probably lost 11 games. And one year she lost eight games. And that's where the 11 come from. Other years and lose one. Yeah, I think lose they lost two. three last lose year. Three. Or no. How, what did they lose one last year? And then and she does it her way. I thought, yeah, maybe they're undefeated and they lost no. to Caitlin Clark and then they came back and beat, beat Caitlin no. Clark. Yeah, super. She does it the right way. No, she's incredible. That's it a does it her right way there. and the right way. Yeah, she's yeah. 
locked in. Yeah. He's an ultimate believer. I mean, but I, I, that's no. Works her ass off. They didn't lose a game. I mean, so that's not like. It's a her, temple owl too, man. Yeah, but her like, her success is not shocking. Like it's expected because how, you know, how good of a coach she is. Hell of a point guard. Like, so it's expected, you know, it's expected. Totally. We freaking love women on this show, Greatness, bro. Greatness, bro. All right. As usual, our starting five is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. New Amsterdam Vodka. Tell me that thing. Born from an uncompromising passion for great vodka. This stuff is five times distilled. They could probably get away with four times distilling it, but no, no, no. At New Amsterdam, there are no half measures. They're going to do this five times distilled, three times filtered for a beautiful, lovely, scrum diddly umptious taste that you really don't see in other vodkas. New Amsterdam vodka, make a cocktail with it, you know? Ha have a round of shots with your friends. I like mine chilled, but you can like yours however you like it because that's the joy of living in America. Enjoy your New Amsterdam with your pals with your parents why, why not i mean they're your parents and this is your vodka and new amsterdam vodka the official vodka of barstool sports the official vodka of papev pod find your wins today with new amsterdam vodka now let's get into this very fun and very exciting starting five i have a fun starting five this week this week was wrestlemania i would like to know your top five NBA Ooh. players who would be great wrestlers. Man, that's tough. That's you could take tough. a second to think oh, about that's it. That's tough, though. That's tough. You can't ask me. I mean, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Draymond for sure in that bitch. That ain't tough. That ain't tough at all. Steven Adams for sure in that bitch. <laughs> that ain't tough. Stone Cold Steven Adams. Yeah, that, ain't tough. that ain't tough at all. A wonder from down under. Um... I'm putting Big Drummond in that bitch. Andre? Yeah. <laughs> Andre the Giant? The, yeah, Big Drummond. Now I got to get Ray Mysterio type of motherfucker. <laughs> Masked up? Yeah. Who's that, bro? That... Elusive, flips everywhere. What about Don't Alvarez? <laughs> he, Alvarado. Alvarado. I'm sorry, Jesus Christ. Jose Alvarado. Uh, Jose Alvarado in that bitch. Jose Alvarado is Ray Mysterio type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He in that just bitch. Just because of energy, yeah. not because of anything else. Yeah. Mask just coming around from, yeah. you don't see him coming. Right. Swings in. Right. Yeah. Um, I know that either Giannis or the Lopez will be pissed off at you if they're not in this list because I know those bros love wrestling. But you could, I mean, you could keep them out because I already gave them an honorable mention right there. Who else? Who else would make that list? Anybody like uh Yeah, Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Brooke Lopez. But then you got Brooke, you gotta go Robin. <laughs> then Robin yeah. comes running yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's my six. That's a nice, that's a nice six. Yeah. Very nice six. We were wrestling. But with five, because the, the Lopez brothers, they come together. That's a package right, deal. Right, 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 right. Joined at the hip. Yeah. Were you a wrestling fan growing up? What you mean? The most biggest wrestling fan. Did you watch or did you see any of the highlights of this WrestleMania? Like, right, so grandma on we got, you know, grandma was the only person in our family, uh, on the Beverly family, Beverly side, that uh, first woman I know to own home, own property. So imagine, I didn't even know, you know, cause my mom was renting so motherfucking much, I just thought everyone was renting, you know. So a tenant that she had, um, uh, the kid was my age. His name was Ricky. He was a huge wrestling fan. Right. So he put me on. I bro, why the fuck you don't be outside, bro? What the fuck you be up here doing? Yeah, I just be watching this. I look at TV. I see my fucking five top robot. Damn. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm locked in. Right. Pay-per-view fights come on. I run downstairs. Granny. She what, boy? Got about his wrestling match. I ain't paying all that damn I, man. Fuck that. I what you want me to do? I take a garbage right now. Tell me, Granny, what you want me to do? Recipes, Granny, sweet so. I clean car. I sell. You know, we got a candy store too. I I I do the early shift for the candy store in the morning, and 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 I and I take out all the garbage right now. I need to wrestle. 
what was the pay per view at that time? 150? Uh, yeah, something like that. 50? Yeah, hit, hit him up with a side hit. So I guess her and the lady upstairs, they split it. I'm talking about to a point where we try and wrestling moves on each other wrong. I'm talking about I got a thousand wrestling motherfucking characters just, just floating around. I'm talking about I'm a Stone Cold Steiner. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm got voices. I got all type of shit wrong. I'm locked the fuck in, man. Locked in. They wanted Stone Cold to come out, but then Undertaker came out in that. I'm not on, but the sound effect, go dark, that bell Dun. ring. My old taking this bitch. That's what we used to call him. Taker. Take. Take. That boy, big taking this bitch. Y'all better watch out. We gave him a hood. We gave him a whole new name. Take. Take, big take. So we said, you, well, lights go off, big take come in. It's a casket close. Dun. He was putting motherfuckers in casket. Then all of a sudden, motherfucker, another motherfucker, they come around. Don't never talk. Kane. With a mask on, with red. Some of they brothers. Ah, right, no way. Ain't nobody be these motherfuckers. Rock Stone Cold get together. I, oh, no, I was, no, no, no. People were crying. Oh, my goodness. I'm talking about, oh, my. And we're not even talking about the fat boys, dude. I love watching the fat boys. I'm talking about motherfucker come out with a mask on, with a sock on. Oh, who this motherfucker? And my man, man God. He choking the shit out of my motherfucker. Mandible claw. Sock. <laughs> put, put, put sock, dirty sock motherfucker mouth. They dying. Mick Foley. Come on, man. D alternate personalities. But then, but bro, Viscera. Big boy, Rakishi, cheeks. I'm about, bro, oh, but, you know goodness. Pete Rose actually had face and cheeks, dude. Hey, remember the uh, what was the cage match? It was like thirty motherfuckers. Came Hell in out, the cell. Hit, no, no, no. It was like it was the Royal Rumble. Oh, the Royal Royal Rumble, Rumble was fire. Incredible. Everybody just kept coming out. Incredible. Every what minute thirty, and another motherfucker run out. Another motherfucker run out. Another motherfucker run out. Ah, uh, this bitch in a cell. Motherfuckers are climbing up. That shit was wild. They said that this WrestleMania, it healed people's inner child. Everybody was coming back. You know, we saw Cody Rhodes. Is wrestling back? Wrestling might be back, dude. Wrestling is back. Wrestling might be back. We might have to start watching this shit because- That man choke slam the shit out of rock. Yeah. Uh, you know who got to come back? Who's that? Stone Cold. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I'm talking about you- you would be watching wrestling like, man, this shit okay, man. They lame as hell today, bro. I'm fucking, tsh, motherfucker, no, he ain't never here. Catching beers like fucking. He come right down, shake a head, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm about to whoop somebody's ass. <laughs> <laughs> he come right down. He didn't play. He come right down, shake on one, one thing. One thing he was about, whipping someone's ass. Yeah. I, I'm here to do one thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not here doing no motherfucking talking. Y'all know why I'm here. I got on my boots. I got on my motherfucking jeans. 316 t-shirt. Hold on. Vest. Before I whoop you, yeah. throw me beer. Let me take care of Which this Which hand? Either, either one. one. <laughs> never, never dropping. Yeah. Never dropping. Never Soft dro hands. <laughs> never dropping. have eight of those bitches. Never dropping. Get up. one. Hit one. Throw the other one in the back. Somebody throw him another one. J get drunk. Hold on. I'm, I'm on my way back to you. Yeah. Now I've got to whip his ass. Yeah. Stone cold. T come back. I'm going. Bro, that X Pac D Generation X, Scotty Tomati, oh Grandmaster Sex. Hunter bro. Hirsch Hounsley. Yeah, I know his real name. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, I'm locked in. And now in. he's the one who brought it all the way yeah, back. Come bro, on, man. salute to him. Come on, man. I'm locked in. As you can tell, I'm locked in. Yeah, wrestling. Why do you think I took the belt? You think I took the belt because I won this belt? It symbolized a wrestling belt. I never had a wrestling belt. I thought it was for someone's ass, bro. Uh uh uh. Uh uh. uh. This is a different type of belt. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Those were the Trish Stratus, Stephanie. Mm. We could go on. China. And on. China. Oh, God. I, wait, wait, she looks so strong. Let me check this out. Oh, okay. She out there whipping people's ass, too. I have weird feelings in my body. You're right. <laughs> I don't know if they're good or bad. Hey. <laughs> this shit is confusing. Right. Was going China on. was confusing Yo, as God, hell. She was sexy, <laughs> strongy, right? Yeah, but like lats. Like, like, but like heavy lats. Yeah. But like, like Cool, but I, I watch. Like, you yeah, feel yeah. I ain't gonna, no, I watch. I, I, I watch. watch yeah. I watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to China. Um, <laughs> shout out to China. Rock was giving motherfuckers the rock bottom. I mean, rock was incredible. China, uh, everybody's incredible. But uh, what about the count? Chocula? No, no, no. I'm talking about you stone cold a motherfucker, motherfucker bounce off, hit ground, he flip leg too. No, he's still alive. He's still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah motherfuckers. <laughs> that shit was Pick incredible. his ass back up, throw him off. That shit's crazy, man. Big show? No. Oh, well. it's, <laughs> it's the big show. He coming that bitch. One thing on. One motherfucker. Country motherfucker. Grab motherfucker. Throw him motherfuckers. He don't even have no moves. Yeah. He got high kick. Yeah, take that to the chair. And my boots this high. Yeah, he got a, a thousand laces up his motherfucking boots. Yeah, I ain't got no wrestling. Bro, you boots. know who I hated, bro? Fucking Kurt Angle. 
Why? I hated him. He was floating yeah. around that bitch, wasn't he? Well, it, and he was also he would always fight against Rock or Snow Cold. He'd always be the one that they're like sending yeah. an angle. He would come in with a singlet and yeah, shit like yeah, that. Yeah. Fucking his like, his gold medals yeah, and shit like yeah, that. That was cold. Kurt Angle was cold. Like, Didn't fuck, he? Fuck what was his guy. go-to move? He he was put him up on the leg hold or something. Yeah, yeah. What was it? The ankle like lock, ankle yeah. Lock, yeah. yeah. See, I'm locked in. Yeah. I'm locked in. Lock, ankle lock. Yeah, he was putting up on some type of hole. Yeah, dude. Kurt Angle would always piss my ass off, bro. Those were the fucking. That was that was so much fun watching Generation wrestling. X was wild, dude. I mean, the the chokehold that this had on people. Oh my goodness, you, you do that in school, get kicked out. Yeah, I mean, jo- Joel's getting fined for it still. <laughs> <laughs> this is Twenty years later, That's bro, wild. they're still fucking taking Generation X, man. That yeah. shit was incredible. Wrestling was great. Wrestling straight. Wrestling might be back. Shout out to Cody Rhodes. Shout yeah. out to Triple H. The boys brought. Uh, shout out to Philly, bro. F- Philly made Philly that shit. Philly showed lit. up. Yeah, yeah. Philly made that shit. Yeah, extremely Philly. Lit. Philly showed up for that. Showed up. Showed out. Um, all right, you guys got a game tomorrow. Uh huh. I'll let you uh, get your rest. Um, playoffs are are around the bend. We are going to be recording as much as we can. All we care about is breaking news, talking about the stuff that's going on. This is the hottest time of the year for NBA. College is over. It ain't football season. This is pure NBA basketball season. Thank you so much for being part of the pod. Real ones. We love that you're listening. What'd you say on TNT? Um, listen uh, to your fucking parents. Listen to your fucking parents. And if you're a kid, your freaking parents. Listen Subscribe to your freaking parents. To the mother freaking pod. See you guys next week. <laughs>